Hello, the pelvic clock a popular exercise slash exploration not only used in Feldenkrais classes but also Pilates in yoga classes and most of all pelvic floor classes. But honestly I think the pelvic clock, this little exercise slash exploration, everybody should know this and everybody should do this exercise once in a while. Now the first question or confusion students have when they are introduced to the pelvic clock class or exercise slash exploration for the first time is where is 12 o'clock and where is 6 o'clock? Uh, valid question, where is it? So as a first step I recommend you to draw a clock, a clock face on a piece of paper, a letter size big piece of paper, draw a, the, the round one, the old style one. like this. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 again. And when you hold the piece of, the actual piece of paper, the actual clock face in front of you and then you put it down on the floor, it's very clear. 12 is in this direction. So when you roll your pelvis, so you roll your pelvis towards 12 o'clock, you can do the clock, the pelvic clock in every position, for example in sitting, in sitting you can roll your pelvis forwards, that's an anterior pelvic tilt, you roll onto your sit bone towards 12 o'clock, you roll your pelvis towards 12 o'clock forwards, or you roll your pelvis backwards towards 6 o'clock, forwards and backwards. Of course, if you have a piece of paper with your clock face, you can put it down in any old direction. You could roll from 9 to 3 or 12 to 6. You get the idea, but if you hold it in front of you and just put it down on the floor, that's where 12 o'clock is. Or you could <laughs> take the paper and put it in your bag and then lie down. So then 12 o'clock is where your head is. Very flexible, so you just need to know what you're doing. First lesson, maybe know what you're doing and then you can do what you want. So just to quickly give you a few tips or to quickly introduce or review some of the motions or movements in the pelvic clock lesson, you can roll the pelvis forwards towards 12 o'clock or backwards towards 6 o'clock but also to the side towards 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. So this is why we have the numbers actually, why we, why we use a clock face, so we can really go for the numbers. You can direct your pelvis into the direction of 1 o'clock, but can you? <laughs> or 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. So it's like a semi-scientific tool to really target a direction and because the direction with the clock is very clear so you can see if you can do it. So you have to feel it if you can do it or you can look with your eyes if, if this is really going towards 3 o'clock or 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock and take your time. <laughs> so that's another tip. Make it very slow. So don't stress into it but smooth into it. 3, 4, 5, 6, so this might take a while and it's like a star, you come back to the center and then you star out like the clock hand, you go into the direction of 12 and then you let yourself fall back to center and then you go to 6 o'clock or to 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and you take one hour at a time, always come back to center so you can see if you can roll your pelvis in that direction. Of course the pelvis doesn't stand for its own, it's not just the pelvis is not a singular entity in space but it's part of a human being so everything needs to move with it. The legs and the head and the chest and the eyes and the ears turn to, together with the head so everything moves of course. Then 
so we have the directions but we can also do the circle the actual clock so you could roll your pelvis forwards to 12 o'clock and then roll it to two o'clock and three o'clock and four o'clock and five o'clock and six o'clock and what this is showing us is if it's really a circle <laughs> so which means the extent of rolling in every direction which we could not really observe before but now with rolling around the clock face we can see is it a square or a <laughs> what kind of geometrical figure is it an egg a <laughs> triangle what is it or can we go in every direction as equally equally far so it, it's really a circle but that is another question should it be a circle or should it be uh, so, some other form some other geometrical figure what, what what is it so best just to observe what is what is the what is the shape you're drawing what is the shape you're rolling your pelvis over yes <laughs> and then there's a, another game like going for diagonals like going from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock so a little bit complicated very refined so i would recommend instead of a clock face draw yourself a compass A pelvic compass again when you hold it in front of you and you lay it down in front of you on the floor then north is forwards and south is backwards and then you have east and west and then you have the diagonals northwest to southeast or southwest to northeast and you can play with these directions so just a couple of tips for the pelvic clock <laughs> one pro tip when you're on your back with your feet standing so that's the classic situation for learning the pelvic clock for the first time if you want to have it as a core action so if you don't want to use your legs if you want to be sure that it's a core exercise then lift off your feet a little bit from the floor so don't don't pull your knees to your chest because then you're always rounded in the back just lift up your knees a little bit and then go for the clock so you can be sure <laughs> that the legs are not working or not helping and when you do this maybe there's a lot of movement in the hip joints so you could hold your knees together so there is no more movement in the hip joints or to further this constraint you could cross over the legs which would make it a little bit asymmetrical and you would be able to reach the hours on the left side better or the hours on the right side better if the left leg is on top or just hold them together so that's and then of course it's the whole chest everything that participates don't let the movement be stuck in your lower back so that's a lot of tips quickly quickly usually i have longer lessons but i just wanted to <laughs> condense a couple of tips into one short video for your information or enjoyment um, yes i have a lot of more i have a lot more videos on my youtube channel also the pelvic clock in more details thank you detail yes thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video